Marina, you were born and raised in Russia, correct? Yeah. Moscow. What was it like growing up for you in Russia as a child, as opposed to maybe growing up in America? Paint a picture for an, uh, American listeners, actually foreign listeners, who may have no idea what that would be like growing up in Russia. Uh, Moscow, first of all, is a huge city. It's like um, New York City in a way, very busy, very crazy. But I grew up in the time um, in the, um, when the Soviet Union fell apart, and it was the craziest time in the recent history in Russia. We had a few... Uh, attempted coup d'etats and we saw tanks on the street and uh, my father who is a nuclear physicist was getting paid 100 bucks a month or sometimes didn't have a salary for a while like for half a year and he had to go get a second and a third job so we had enough food to eat we had one change of clothes um, maybe eight meat once every you know six five six weeks um, Although if we were vegetarians, that would have been fine. <laughs> but we weren't, and we didn't get enough nutrition. And it wasn't by choice. And um, so it was very, very strange time. And especially psychologically, was as a kid, for me and my generation, it was really odd to be in that midst of the craziness, for example. Just, well, for example, last year, all the teachers would tell us, yes, communism is great, Stalin is great, Lenin is great. You know, uh, everything outside of Soviet Union is, you know, evil empire. And then just a few months later, um, the teacher still told us, well, everything we told you before was total BS. Uh, it's actually not true. Uh, we, were, we had to say that because it was a crazy regime and we were forced to say that. But actually, everything you learned is untrue. And, and it was, you know, when you were 10 or 11, that was uh, that was kind of um, kind of a little bit screwing with your mind.